I'm Scott Walker and this is Walks on the Wild Side. In this video we're going to talk about how to photograph jays and I'm going to show you the techniques I use to get photos just like these. These photos were all taken before the current situation arose and I've got quite a bit of pre-recorded content so I should be able to keep the channel going even though it's more difficult to get out and about now. I'd like to welcome anyone who's perhaps joining us for the first time here. Walks on the Wild Side is a channel that's all about nature photography so I make videos that relate to wildlife, uh, macro, particularly insects and flowers, as well as some landscapes. So I hope you consider subscribing so that you can see more of the content that I put out. Now my previous video was all about how to still do wildlife photography even in the current circumstances and there are a couple of options for things that you can do out and about but also even if you can't leave your home. So here are some highlights. Now if you'd find that video useful, please go to the channel page and click on videos and then hit that video to watch it in full. As a reminder, at the moment I'm offering a free guide on how to attract and feed garden birds. That's so that you can photograph them. All you have to do is head over to my website using the link in the description below and sign up to my newsletter and I'll email you a free copy of that guide. I'm also at the moment offering a 20% discount on all prints sold through my website. So use the code shown on screen and you'll get a 20% discount at the checkout. Now let's get back to Jay's. <coughs> Jay's are the most colourful and beautiful member of the crow family. The Jays that we have in the UK are the Eurasian Jay. Some people call them the Blue Jay, but Blue Jays are actually an entirely different species that are found in North America and are much more blue than the Jays that we have in the UK. Now Jays here are a pinkish grey colour and they've got a panel of black on their wings as well as some black and white patches on their crown and their wings and at the end of the wings they've got a panel of electric blue and that's what makes them really distinctive. Jays are super intelligent birds. They're actually the first non-primates found to be using tools. And a long time ago, tools were the thing that we thought separated humans from the animal world. And then it was found that primates also use tools. And now there's really strong scientific evidence that jays use tools too. So it's been shown that when food is separated from the jay by a cage, they'll use a twig or another implement to knock that food through the holes in the cage to get to it. And other birds wouldn't have the intelligence to be able to do that. Also, different individual jays have different preferences about the types of food that they eat. And it's been shown that when you present a plate of food to a jay, it can separate them out into different food types so that it can get to the one it likes easiest. Also, where there are pairs of mating jays and the female stays at the nest, 
The male will go to gather food of the female's preference to bring back to her, as well as eating his own preference of food when he's out and about. Now, if that's not intelligent, I don't know what is. Happy wife, happy life. Now, when finding jays, I use a website called eBird, and on eBird you can search for individual species and drill down to specific locations to see where there are hotspots of people recording sightings of these birds. So it's a really useful tool. But once you've found an area where jays hang out, you need to set yourself up in the right way. Because they're so intelligent, they will avoid humans and they'll happily sit up high in the trees and not come down until humans have gone away. In fact, I have been in situations where jays have observed me setting up and I've been well hidden from them, but they know that I'm there and I can sit there for hours and they won't come down. So it's really important you set yourself up in the right way. So let's talk about how to set up. So the most important thing for this setup is to not be seen. So it can be really useful to set up before sunrise so that you're in situation ready for when the birds start coming out. Now it's really useful to find a nice sturdy branch. So have a good walk around and look for a branch that's perhaps fallen from a tree that you can use for a perch for the birds to sit on. Now you can set the branch up so that it's leaning against a stump or a fence post or something like that so that you get a nice angle. And you want to make sure that there's a greater distance between the branch and the background than there is between your camera and the branch. Ideally you want about two times the distance to the background from the perch that you're setting up. Now you'll need to lay down some food to encourage the jays to come out of the trees and they don't particularly like eating on the ground. They sometimes do it, but most often they'll pick up the food and fly to a branch. So that's why your perch is really important. Now foods that jays particularly like are peanuts, hazelnuts and acorns. And you might need to go out and lay these foods down a few times before you start attracting the birds. You'll also need to make sure that you're hidden. So I use my chair hide, but you could use something like a scrim sheet or something to hide underneath, anything that camouflages yourself away. And I'll be making an upcoming video soon on different camouflage techniques for different situations. So that's it. You're all set up now to take photos of jays and I'd be really interested to hear how you get on. So please leave a comment in the comment section below if you try this method. I'd also be interested to hear if you've got any questions and please also leave those in the comments. Now don't forget that at the moment I'm offering a copy of a free guide on how to attract and feed garden birds so that you can photograph them. And you can get this by using the link in the description below to sign up to my newsletter. And after you've done that, I'll email you a link to download it. I'm also offering 20% off all prints on my website using the offer code shown on screen. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified of the next time I put out some content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.